was just, uh, I guess, first just uh, a day away or so from, from playing in a, in a regional at your, your park, just your thoughts on it. Yeah, we've started the countdown the last few days, minus 48, now minus 24. Good to get on the field one last time. It feels like we handed over the keys to Plainsman Park to the NCAA and falling in line with the other three teams you're going to compete against. Uh, beautiful weather, it's going to be warm. Uh, uh, but it's exciting to be on the field because the next time we take it'll be for keeps and you know you play an entire season for moments where it's time to time to prove it and you've got to draw from every experience that you've had for this entire season and put it into play there's no more reset there's no more hey what do we what happens next week and this is it so you have to prove it and you have to play well to continue to advance and so we know we need to start fast i think our guys know that they need to uh, absolutely uh, be at their best from, from Jump Street because if you've ever competed in NCAA Regional, you know that game one and game two is huge to having a, a realistic opportunity of succeeding in a regional. Just in, in the time you've gotten to look at Southeast Louisiana, just what, what stands out about that? Yeah, the first thing is you're either going to play somebody really good. Think about the tr traditional teams that we have in here. Florida State, 44 consecutive regionals. Let that soak in for a minute how much you should respect that. Then UCLA, the last time I competed against them was for a national championship uh, on a different ball club, but I, same head coach and the same principal program that still does an amazing job. And, you know, they're just traditional and they're great with so much experience. And then the Southeast Louisiana team falls under the category of hot. They just won their tournament. And then when you look at them immediately, you start looking at all the things that you have to prepare for. Uh, fake breaks and antsy on the bases. They're going to be moving and jockeying for position all the time. Um, the last time I competed against them, they stole home on us. Um, so this team is going to do a lot. They're going to be on the plate. They're going to crowd it and try to make us feel uncomfortable more than any team that we've played probably this year. They've been hit by, in excess of over 100 times with hit by pitches. Uh, one player on their team has 35 HBPs, which is incredible to me, and they've stolen over 100 bases. Just that enough that they're hot and they do a couple of things offensively that's a little bit different. And we're going to see a left-hander. We haven't seen a ton of left-handed starting pitchers this year. Uh, it's a little bit softer. Can we stay in our crouch? Can we stay balanced once we load instead of leaking out like he's going to want us to? I think it's going to be more of a change-up than a breaking ball. So can we stay in the hole? Can we stay back and drive the ball back at him middle field the other way? And, you know, the elephant in the room is can we get our offense reset? You know, we've, we've played in the range in this last couple of weeks where it's been a little bit slower. Um, but we've played in the range defensively. We've played, played in the range from a pitching standpoint. Can we get our offense back to where we played for the majority of the season? That's what I'm interested in as far as us. Which, why uh, Trey Price from the start to the game one? And um, you like the way he sort of finished the season, the way he's pitching right now? I do. I, I think he's gotten better and better and better. Um, you know, he's got to a certain point in the game where it's been most of his challenges. We've we've pushed through that. We've seen that. We've discovered that. Now we're trying to be more proactive in how to how to use Trace. Uh, for the same things I just mentioned about Southeast Louisiana, we think he's a guy that can pitch in, but not miss too much in. If they're going, feet are going to be on the right on the chalk or close to the plate, as we've seen. So we think he can command the ball, get in there, and then you know we'll, we'll probably throw Joseph game too because you're looking at either. That 1-0 game is, is humongous to get you to the back end or at least get you to the championship portion of the, the tournament, or you're trying to extend the season. And we've had Joseph in that three-hole, but I think we all know probably that, that Joseph has been our most consistent starter the entire year. So, uh, but past that, we will not look past that. But I'm, I'm comfortable in saying as long as these guys keep getting up and feeling good that Trace would throw game two and Joseph regardless would throw game two for us. What was your message to the team before you left the field just a minute ago? Uh, be over here for a scouting report in a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> no, uh, prove it's kind of our, our, our motto right now. Some people believe in our program, some people don't. And it's always that way, no matter what stage you are. Um, but we haven't won a championship yet. We've had a good season. We've done some nice things. We finished a regular season tied for third most wins in the SEC. Uh, we're playing the Western Division, which is the best uh, uh, division in college baseball and has been. Um, we finished tied for the most wins on the road in the SEC. We've done some nice things this year. Um, but it's time to win some part of a championship. We've had a couple of chances. We've had the West. We've had the SEC. We've had the tournament. 
So we're still searching for something. So I hope there's a hunger to try to go out and prove something. This is another opportunity, maybe the last, for this team to try to go prove something and, and win a championship of some type this season. You, you like what you've seen out of your guys coming back and, and this week of work that you guys put in on the field? Yeah, I can't say at the first and then the middle and at the end that I trust this team and then turn on them. Um, so I, I've continued to do that. They've handled themselves well. We spent a lot of time together the last week. I don't know if they love me for it or hate me for it, but uh, they're out of school. And, you know, these are memories for a lifetime. And they put another brick in the wall of our program by hosting a regional the first time since 2010. So these guys have done some amazing things. We spent some time together at the field a lot. Uh, we wound up playing a squad game Friday, Monday, and last night because you got to continue to get at bats with how much time we've had off. But, you know, we've been out in the woods. We've been fishing. We've been skeets. Uh, we went, got some peanuts. We've been on boat rides. We've been swimming. We've tried to, to stay together as much as we can as a, as a ball club. And I hope it's been a nice experience uh, for our guys. It has for our staff. And, uh, but it's time to play ball. Coach, how about uh, Cole Foster's availability, the possibility of Hayden Mullins this weekend? Yeah, Hayden Mullins will be out. Um, uh, he has thrown a couple of bullpens, but uh, I, I don't know if that will ever happen, just like I think I, I reported initially. Uh, Cole Foster's in there, so he'll be back in there. We think uh, we think he gives us a shot in the arm. We think he's a real threat in the box to do something, uh, especially against some higher-level pitching. We think he is a threat, probably the best way to put it. And he actually participated – Friday, Monday, and Wednesday in the squad game. So he could have been in there as early as game two or three in the SEC tournament. And ever since we got back, he's participated in all of our squad games. So he's ready. to your team, I think, um, a few days ago when the announcement was made that uh, they had a dog pile here, plays parts since 99. Yeah. Uh, what type of opportunity is that for you guys? Yeah, and just, and there have been some meaningful moments. Even since we've been here, some things, some awesome things have happened on this field. Um, uh, just one we haven't done. I'm just always looking for a way for our program to check boxes. That's, to me, that's how you build a program when you get a get a chance to check another box. And you know, I think I brought up Creed Simpson's home run in 2010. It was so dramatic here. And you know, we got David Ross's. And yesterday was the three-year anniversary of Stephen Williams and, at Georgia Tech. But now this is an opportunity to create another one of those moments for our fans and for our players and for our program that kind of stand the test of time. That's that's pretty awesome.